Hello, I'm Louise Paling, and I'm going to be telling you what Agile is through the medium of Lego Star Wars. It is a great way to explain Agile to the non-technical people in your life, your friends, your family, your boss. So our story starts as is traditional on the 1st of January when you're sitting down to write your letter to Santa. Is that just me? For Christmas, what I want is Lego Star Wars. I want the good stuff. You know, I'm thinking the big Death Star. And then I, I wait a year. And come December the 25th, under the tree, I've got this big box. It's all wrapped up in pretty paper. There's a shiny bow on the top. And I've just I've got my fingers crossed that Santa's please brought me what I wanted. That's waterfall. Agile. Um, unfortunately, Agile is going to ruin Christmas. <laughs> Sorry. Don't panic, though. You're still going to get your nice big box. It'll be all wrapped up in pretty paper and there'll be a shiny bow on it. It won't, however, be a surprise. All that's gone, no crossing fingers. You see, two weeks into January, what you're going to get is your first present. Now, don't get too excited. The elves have had two weeks. It's not that big a deal just yet. But what you've got is a very small package, and it's all wrapped up in pretty paper, and there's a shiny bow on top. And inside, you've got a few two-by-four bits of Lego, and you can, you can start to do anything. It's, it's a bit rubbish. Yeah, that's Lego. It clicks together. Great. But then... Two weeks later, you get another box, and it's a bit bigger. And it's all wrapped up in pretty paper, and there's a shiny bow on the top. And now you've got lots of bits of Lego. And maybe there's some connectors in there, and you can start to do stuff. We're not into the Star Wars realm yet. But this is real Lego. You can play with it. It's wrapped up in pretty paper, and there's a shiny bow. It is quality. It is a finished product. It's fully tested and usable. And then, well, then another two weeks pass, and now it's very exciting. We're going to get our first minifig. Oh yes, you've been waiting for this little box for ages and it's really good and, and we're going to open the box and we're just hoping it's one of the... <laughs> <laughs> no, Jar Jar Binks was not what I had in mind here. I know technically this is Lego Star Wars, but <laughs> I very, very clearly and obviously I would have thought had the original trilogy in mind. Clearly we've had a horrible miscommunication here. Let's just pretend the prequels never happened. I think we will all be happier that way. And what I want is obviously the original trilogy. So what do we do now? Well, everything's gone horribly wrong. We need to burn everything to the ground, right? Well, everything up until this package was fine. We've got Lego, we've, we've proven it, we've tested it, we've worked it with that along the way. And we figured out how to make minifigs. So actually it's not that bad. We can go back, we can fix it, and we can get us a layer. And now everything's back on track and everything is going good. I'm good with layer, excellent. And we carry on in this way. And this is agile delivery. We get a little box and then we get a bigger box and then a bit of a bigger box. And we just keep working through this way, being able to check every step of the way we've got things right. And then halfway through the year, they go and mess things up for me. Because what happens halfway through our journey is they bring out episode seven. See, The Force Awakens turns out is really good. I was fully expecting another prequel. Uh, yeah, I, I know, I know. I was very, very insistent that I wanted the original trilogy, but can I have Rayno, please? <laughs> She's kind of awesome. And Agile, well, means flexible, right? We can do anything, we can change our mind at the drop of a hat. I'm sure a lot of you have heard this. Well, technically that's true, we can. But you need to understand that every time we change, there is a cost of change associated with that. So yes, yes I absolutely can turn my back on Leia and I can embrace Ray, but there will be a cost associated with making that change. In this case, the cost probably is going to be that that big shiny box under the Christmas tree is it's going to be a little bit smaller. And if I'm willing to accept that cost, to have the version of the present that I would now like, because, you know, I'm a customer here and I have the right to change my mind, then I can happily go on with that. So this is all you need to know about Agile development. 1st of January, you decide what you want, and every two weeks you get a little box, and they get bigger, and they get bigger, and they get bigger, until you've got the box you want under the tree at the end. 
Except there's no crossing our fingers now. Remember, we ruined Christmas. That surprise is gone. I don't have to think, is this Leia or is this Jar Jar in this box? I know. I've been playing with most of it for 11 months now. It's only two weeks further on since last one. I know that in that box is Ray. So if you find yourself needing to explain what Agile is to people, don't worry about telling them about sprints and backlogs and planning poker. Talk about Christmas presents and Lego Star Wars. Seems to work for me. Thank <laughs> you.